Okay, so I just showed you some of the basic parts of the furnace. And believe it or not, I, I did mention that I've worked on this several times in the past. Um, like I said, I did not install it, so it's not a reflection of my craftsmanship, I hope. Uh, but what, what the problem is with this is if you look closely, right here at the induced draft floor motor, you see what looks like uh, water has been running down. Now, what tends to happen is, is the vent, um, the way that they vented it, they just went up and outside the out, outside part of the house, and they didn't encase the vent in any kind of protection, like through a chimney or a chase of any sort, or a double insulated pipe. You know, it's, it's really not an approved way to vent things because what happens is, is when the exhaust gets outdoors. Uh, in the metal vent, the cold air hitting it outside will condense, therefore the water will come back down, and this is not a condensing furnace. So this is what you get, is this buildup. And so I will turn on the uh, blower door button, and you will be able to witness exactly what's going on with this furnace. First you hear the board click, and there's a gr flashing green light down there. And that just tells you the thermostat is calling, but then you just hear a buzzing. And what that is is the induced draft floor motor. It is locked up, um, obviously from something within the vent here. So uh, typically, that's the first thing that you would hear is the induced draft, or draft floor motor come on. It will then close the pressure switch, which then goes through a series of the rollout switches and the high limit switch which then goes back down and gives the signal to the computer board that hey all the safeties are in place so let's ignite it so then you will you know after approximately 30 seconds some of them are 60 seconds you'll hear another click from the board and that is typically your igniter so at this point you should see nothing but the igniter glowing red if this furnace were working correctly and then your gas valve will turn on you'll hear a click it will ignite and approximately 30 to 60 seconds later, the blower motor that circulates the indoor air will kick on. And at that point, you're fully operational. Uh, if at any point in that cycle something breaks down, uh, it's pretty easy to troubleshoot. Um, if you have a f basic understanding of electricity and you know the sequence in which things happen. Thermostat goes to the board, you know, assuming that the thermostat is working properly turns on your induced draft floor motor to your pressure switches and other series of uh, safety switches such as the rollouts or the over limit switches uh, which then tells the board down here to turn on your igniter which is located back in there you can see it uh, and then your gas valve will kick on followed by your blower until the uh, call for heat is satisfied uh, so now, I guess I've got to get my hands dirty and get this thing back up and running.